Hi guys, VST here, Valence Peaks Tech. A very short video, guys, just about the end of the day. But I think it's still very important because apparently right now, Gary C, who is an Oxygen OS product leader, just revealed some very nice information and peek inside Oxygen OS 11. Well, why do I say it's a very nice information? Because guys, you are going to realize why in the end People are now saying that the Oxygen OS 11 looks like the One UI. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing bad in copying good things, right? And I know One UI is good because actually the phone I'm shooting this video is my Samsung S10 Plus, one of the best smartphones ever released. But that's a whole other story, guys. So let's just read the truth here. Hi, everyone. Some of you might have already caught a glimpse of the Oxygen OS 11 because OnePlus released the latest developer preview 3. Actually, today they released even the developer preview 4. And this comes, I think, probably weeks before really Google is going to push a final Android 11 to the Pixel devices, right? So it's gonna be very, very soon where everybody using the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro, so the 8 series is gonna get the final stable Oxygen OS 11. So, he's saying, user tested for a better Android experience, we've always said that stock Android is a good starting point for mobile devices, but we also believe there is a lot we can do to make the experience even better. One important part of the process is user testing, asking user show, we fine tune certain design aspects to improve the experience. And all the while, we apply a burdenless philosophy to improve the overall look and feel. As screens increase in size, so does the unused white space. We wanted to make the most of the space while keeping the interface easy to use, so we've conducted, that's very important guys, A and B testing with our users to determine the best size of the headline and found that 65% prefer slightly smaller headlines. Also, 80% of the users tested preferred titles with subtitles rather than without and the result is a new headline body car kit that streamlines information delivery in oxygen 11. another example is the contact interface after asking users which kind of layout they prefer we've changed the line tap navigation to button navigation now users can more intuitively switch to other menus and contact with just a glimpse at the icons. And this here is very, very important. So apparently they are improving the one-handed efficiency. Now, a lot of people were complaining that the one-handed mode was introduced with some betas for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Then it was, you know, just removed, then back, then removed. But now they have proper testing to prove really that they are going to introduce a one-handed efficiency. We also know that the stock Android hasn't been optimized for one-handed usage on a large display, so we set out to make it easier for you to use. We analyzed how people use phones and looked at anthropometric data to design a user interface for more comfortable one-handed use. And take a look here, very important. So here they say it's a left-handed user combined or a right-handed user. The natural space, then you have the stretching, and then here where you know is the heart is really where you cannot press. It's almost impossible, or even I have rather like big hands, I cannot really go there, you know, with the OnePlus 8 Pro. Since people hold their phones at the bottom, it's naturally more difficult to reach the top of the phone. This hard area is here, guys. The updated layout of Oxygen 11 now moves touch controls closer to the thumbs for easy access as soon as you open the menu. And that's, guys, what you see here in the latest Oxygen OS 11. And this is why a lot of people were saying, yeah, you know what, now Oxygen OS is becoming one way. I... Maybe, maybe there are some similarities, but OnePlus are claiming that this will increase efficiency, all right? Now, there is a very big reason I don't want to install the developer preview just because it's not yet ready. Really, even the developer preview 4 has some bugs. When they release the final stable version, I'm gonna be the first one to put it on my OnePlus 8 Pro and then do a very full in-depth review. But you know, I do these things. Okay, so what they are also saying is, we also wanted to add even more features to make one-handed user quick and easier. They added a new quick share button in the camera app, so now you can long press the thumbnail of your last photo and then you immediately can share it. And they say, this is just some of the thinking behind the new OS 11. We hope it helps you better understand some of the new look and feels as well as the functionality that improves the user experience. People, of course, are saying here, yeah, you know, it's still the one UI. No, I don't think it is. We still have to see the final product, guys. But I think this is a very important message 
message from the OnePlus OS Oxygen team to just explain why they rather did this radical change, right? And I wanted you to know this, guys, so I really, really hope that you like this video. If that's the case, you know what to do. Yeah, we stay in touch, guys. See you on the next video. BST over and bye.